Okay, let's talk about how to multiply two by two matrices. And multiplying matrices is one of these topics that uh, students uh, make a lot of mistakes and they understand how to do it for the, uh, for the most part. But there's so many little um, kind of operations, uh, multiplication, addition, that it's so, so easy to make an error. And you've got to be super uh, neat and structured and really practice this stuff. It's really, really easy to make a mistake. And we're going to just go ahead and practice the procedure how to multiply uh, matrices by using this easy example with uh, two by two matrices. So we're going to get into this. We're just going to focus on this one particular problem. But again, uh, this, um, you know, what I'm talking about here applies to any multiplication of matrices. We're not talking about scalar multiplication. That's something else. That's if I had like a number like two on the outside of that, that's different. Okay, so if you're studying matrices, you generally start off by learning scalar multiplication, and then you learn how to add and subtract matrices, and then you get into all this fun stuff on how to multiply matrices, and then you learn about determinants and inverse matrices and all kinds of good stuff. Kramer's rule. If you really want to learn this stuff, I'm going to give you some suggestions, okay? But uh, if you're struggling with uh, matrix multiplication, that's kind of normal, right? So hopefully this is going to clear up, you know, anything that you might be struggling with. Because again, uh, the way we multiply two by two matrices, it doesn't make a difference what size of matrices that you're dealing with. The procedure is effectively the same. Okay, so we're going to get into this problem in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. That's a pretty bold statement. I'll let you be the judge of that statement. If you're interested, you can check out my math help uh, program by following the link in the description uh, of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. I have all the big courses like Algebra 1, Pre-Algebra, Geometry, Algebra 2, College Algebra. I'm going to be launching my pre-calculus course here soon. Uh, all my courses really take me years to build, okay? I, I put a tremendous amount of effort, super comprehensive lessons, not little quick tutorial problems, and I teach you how to solve literally thousands of problems. So if you really want to learn mathematics you know, uh, and, and you're looking for assistance, definitely check out my Math Help program. Now, um, outside of those main courses I talked about, I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for an exam like the GED, SAT, uh, ACT, GRE, GMAT, a teacher certification, Accuplacer, Alex, uh, you know, nursing entrance, ASVAB. There's a ton of reasons why people study mathematics outside of a math course. So you might need to be reviewing math to pass your uh, particular exam uh, that you're studying for. So I have great test preparation courses, uh, have many, many, many. And um, just go to my site, check out my course catalog. If I don't have what you're looking for, drop me a line and I'll give you my best suggestion. I also do a lot in the area of independent uh, learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. Then obviously I help people out that are just struggling in class. So if you're taking Algebra 2, Algebra 1, and you're having a tough time with uh, matrices, well, my program can help you out. But one thing you need to do to help yourself out is take great math notes. Over decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is clear to me, those students who take great math notes almost always end up with great math grades. And the reverse is true. Those students who think they can get away with not taking notes, that was me way back in the good old days in the 1980s where, you know, we didn't even know what the internet was. We had no idea how life was going to change. And then boom, you know, here comes the internet and everything is different. And uh, especially today, there's just, you know, so much distraction. Back in those days, there was distraction. But now, with your cell phone and technology, you're going to have to work extra hard to remain focused. That is the key to learn. Okay, learning anything, right? To, to learn math or, or anything that you study. If you're not focused and engaged, you know, you're not going to remember this stuff. And when we're talking about matrices, there's too many little tiny details that you need to remember then you got to like write it down and then you got to practice this stuff. So the only way you're going to be able to do that is to be engaged and write this down. That activity will kind of really keep you on the straight and narrow in terms of learning. But um, as you improve in your note taking, and most of you probably can stand some improvement, I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. Um, matrices can be found if you're studying this in my algebra two uh, trig notes. Okay, so let's get into this. Now, if you think you can do this problem, I would certainly encourage you to, um, uh, to do it. Now, 
The first thing I want to talk about is uh, can we even multiply these two matrices? Well, we can. This is a two by two matrix and this is a two by two matrix. Now, the two by two means, or we kind of measure matrices rows by columns, okay? So here we have, this is two rows, okay, and two columns, two rows and two columns. Now, when you, let's kind of do it this way. We have a two by two matrix and we want to multiply it by another two by two matrix. So the way we uh, know if you can multiply uh, two matrices is if these two numbers are the same, and in fact they are, okay, we can in fact multiply uh, matrices. In uh, the matrix world, you just can't multiply any two matrices. They have to have the right kind of setup. You gotta kind of pass this test. So if these numbers are the same, then we can multiply and the answer happens to be what these numbers are. So this will be a two by two matrix as an answer. So this is a nice, easy kind of warm-up problem to matrix multiplication. You'll get into other type of three by three, two by three, three by two, all this kind of stuff, right? Um, and you'll be surprised, for example, here, let's just do this real quick. You can have a one by three matrix and multiply it by a three by two. And that wouldn't look so obvious. That's one row, three columns, right? That's going to look like that. And you can multiply it by a three row, two columns. So that might look something like this. So it's not so obvious, you know, that you can do this. So this right here, three and three are equal. And then you'll have a one by two as the answer. Okay. So um, these are all kind of foundational matrix multiplication stuff that hopefully you're kind of aware of already. Okay. Now let's get to it. And I'm going to show you this problem. I'm going to go nice and slow. All right, so here's our problem. And here's the first thing you need to know. We have this matrix and this matrix, okay? We're going to use the rows of this matrix, and we're going to use the columns of this matrix. Okay, so the first matrix, you're going to use the rows. The second matrix, you're going to use the column, all right? Now, here is our answer, okay? Our answer is gonna be a two by two matrix, right? In other words, it's gonna be like this, a two by two. We're gonna have two rows and two columns, meaning we're gonna have these positions. We're gonna have a value here, 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 and here, okay? This is a two by two. It's gonna look exactly like one of these guys. Now, let's take a look at this. Uh, this is kind of like a template for our answer. So right here, what is the location of this um, upper left corner here? Well, this is row one, column one. That's what this is right here, row one, column one. The position of this right here is row one, column two. Okay, this is column two, row one. Here, we're on row two, column one. That's the position right here. And right down here, we're on row two, column two. Okay, so that's kind of the location of you know anything that we have in terms of a two by two matrix. But how is this gonna help us? Well, remember I said we're gonna use the rows here and the columns here. Well, this is, we're gonna to have to kind of follow this little template and we're, let's start off uh, with this row one, column one. Okay, so remember we use the rows of this and the columns of this. So here, to find this actual answer, I'm gonna use row one, okay, row one. So I gotta use the rows, okay? So here is row one. All right, this is row one, this is row two, okay? This is column one, this is column two. Okay, so we're gonna use row one and we're gonna use column one, row one and column one, okay? So we're gonna use this, this information and this information to get the answer right here in our two by two. So how does it work? Okay, you take these numbers, all right? We're going to multiply. So you're going to be kind of doing this business. You're going to be going from like left to right and down, uh, uh, up to down, or up to down. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense. You're going to be starting from here and going down. And we're going to kind of do it simultaneously. We're going to walk over from left to right, and we're going to walk down, okay, simultaneously. So here's how it looks, okay? It's easier to kind of show you this. So we start with the first values. So 2 times 4, we're going to multiply. 2 times 4. Okay, now then we're gonna add plus, and then we go scoot over and we're gonna scoot down one and one. Okay, so that's gonna be one times one. And now 
we simplify this. So we got 8 plus 1 times 1 is 1. That is 9. Okay? And that's it. All right? That's the answer right here. It's 9. So if you can kind of follow this pattern, then you're going to be successful. So let's erase all this, not to confuse ourselves, and let's do another position. Okay? Let's do this guy right here. Let's do row 1, column 2. All right? So this would be 9. So here in our answer, we'll put this right here. That's 9. Okay, that's our row 1, column 1. And this is our answer. We're going to go to build out our answer. So now let's do row 1, column 2. So in other words, we're looking to get this uh, answer right there. All right. Okay, row 1, column 2. Remember, I'm going to be using the rows of this one. We're going to be using row 1. So we're going to use row 1 again. But this time, we're going to use column 2. We're going to use the columns of this. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So it's going to be 2 times 6, so that's going to be 12. Okay, actually, let's just go ahead and write it all out like this. So that'll be 2 times 6, so you can kind of see the steps. And then we're going to add 1 times negative 3. Okay, or right, let's figure that out. That's going to be 12 plus negative 3, and that will be a positive 9. Okay, so we got a 9 again. Very interesting. And we'll put that right there, 9. Okay, so if you're kind of seeing how this works, that just was a coincidence that those were 9. Let's continue on uh, finding out uh, the rest of these. So let's go for this position right here. So looking at this, what would you use? Okay, you have the answer down there. What, this, this one right here, what would you use in terms of rows and columns? So hopefully you're saying, oh, I would use row 2, because remember, you're going to use the rows here, okay? You're going to use row 2 and column 1, and that's exactly what you're going to do. Okay, so right here, we're going to go for row 2, column 1, and let's erase this. Again, you can see how confusing this can be when you're first learning this. It is a little uh, tricky, so we're just walking through this. So row 2 right here, right? That's row 2, column 1. And now let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be 3 times 4. All right, we'll write this down here. 3 times 4. 3 times 4 plus, I'm going to walk over, okay, um, 5 times 1. Okay, remember, we're going down this way. We're going down this way. We're going left to right. We're going down. So plus 5 times 1. Okay. That gives us... 12 plus 5 or 17. Okay, so that's the answer right there, 17. And now we're left with this uh, one right here, and this is row 2, column 2. Okay, so let's erase this. And now you, you can obviously, hopefully, see how confusing this can get if you're not paying attention. It's so easy to make a mistake. Row 2, uh, column 2. And uh, I've seen students do this like excellent. They'll do, they'll be doing it everything right, and they'll make one little tiny, uh, little error, and they'll throw off their entire problem. So you got to focus. All right, so here we're gonna uh, end up with row for row two, okay, column two. So we're using row two and column two. So it's gonna be three times six. Let's see if we could just do this in our uh, from here. Three times six. That's eighteen. Plus, I'm gonna scoot over five times negative 3. Uh, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And then we add those together, that'll be a positive 3. And there you go. That's our answer. Okay, that's row 2, column 2. And again, we're multiplying a 2 by 2 matrix. The answer is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And there it is. Okay. Now, anytime you're, you know, doing um, something other than a 2 by 2, okay, whatever, if you can multiply, any matrix, you're going to uh, do the same procedure. Now, I'm kind of, you know, writing this all out like this just to kind of show you, but, you know, you're not going to do it exactly like this, you know, when you're, you know, doing your actual work. I'm just kind of showing you, uh, especially those of you who are, are really struggling with this, so you can kind of see the actual steps. But it, it requires a lot of concentration, and you've got to be super neat and double, triple check your work, okay? It's very, very normal to make uh, mistakes when you're multiplying matrices, but this is how you do it, okay? This is how you multiply two by two matrices or any matrices that in fact you are allowed to multiply. 
All right, so hopefully this has kind of cleared up some confusion you might have had, uh, might have had on the topic of uh, matrix multiplications. Now again, matrix multiplication is different than scalar multiplication. If I had like a three outside of here, what you would do is like the distributor property you would multiply three times two, three times one, three times three, three times five. That's scalar, scalar multiplication. That's something different than actual matrix multiplication, but you know, when you're studying matrices, there's a lot to know, okay? And if you're struggling, you know, just take it one skill at a time. Now, let me leave you with some general uh, guidance. First, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button. That always helps me out. And please consider subscribing. That's the first thing you want to do. Now, if you like my teaching style, I have tons of videos on my channel, Basic to Advanced Mathematics. I would check out my um, videos in my Algebra, Algebra 2 playlist. Um, I know I've done many on matrices that can help you out. Uh, but I would also suggest maybe like one of my math courses, like my Algebra 2 or College Algebra course, I really get into uh, the topic of matrices. There's a lot to know, okay? You have to learn how to take the determinants. You have to learn how to find the inverse matrix. There's things like Kramer's rule. There, it gets complicated, okay? But this is, you know, um, kind of the beginning. So if you're, you know, struggling with those additional topics, those are some things that you can do uh, to kind of help you improve in this uh, area. All right. So um, bottom line is this, it's one thing to watch me do this problem, but unless you could do it on your own, you're not really learning this. So you could even, you know, pause this video and, and redo this problem on your own and see if you get the right answer. If you can, you know, do this over and over again until you get the right answer, then you'll get the procedure down. Then you can move on to additional problems. Okay, so let's go on and wrap it up. Um, so, uh, and again, you know, uh, write this stuff down in your notes, okay? If you don't have good notes right now about matrix multiplication, pause this video and, you know, at least kind of do this one particular example. That would be a good start, start as well. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.